Hey guys, I'm going to show you in this video how you can download graphics from Creative Fabrica, change them, erase some things to make it your own, make it unique. There is a way you can do that in Canva, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first thing is first, let's go into Canva. And you have to use the pro plan. So if you don't have the pro plan, I can leave the link down below so you can go check that out. Um, I'm just going to make a um, 27 by 2025 pixels and I'm just going to create my design. Hold on one second. Let me get to, there we go. Okay. So when you go into Creative Fabrica, and let me just open Creative Fabrica here. Okay. And <clears throat> say I'm going to look up a Halloween graphic. Okay. And here we go. Um, oh, hippie witch. Well, this looks fun. Let's check this out. So, um, oh, this is really cute. So say I did not have the creative Fabrica, um, paid plan. I do. If you do commercial usage is allowed meaning that um, when I'm using anything I download, for example, I am allowed to create unlimited physical products, digital products. I can create my own items, t-shirts, sweatshirts, um, you know, SVGs. I can sell them on Etsy. I can sell them on my own website. Um, so, if you don't have a license, you're not allowed to do that. What you can do is if you don't have a, um, an account and you don't pay for the commercial license, what you can do is you can download, for example, this image of a flower. Again, you can't just download this and stick it on a t-shirt and sell it as your own. What you need to do is you need to change it up. So here in this example, um, they took the flowers, they added some watercolors, some font, flowers, etc., and leaves. Then you can sell this as your own. But what you can do is, again, you can go back. Let me go back to that graphic, which I really liked. Let me just go back and find it. Here it is right here. So if I went ahead and downloaded this, this would download to a zip file. I would open the zip file and then I would pull out the um, graphic that I wanted to use. So let's head back over to Canva. And like I said, I've already gone ahead and downloaded what I wanted to download. Um, so I'm going to go into my projects tab. If you want a video on how to organize your graphics, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely do that. So here we go. I'm going to go to folders and here are my Halloween graphics. So let's pick one that is easily edible, Ed to edible, edible, whatever that means. Okay. So this came directly from Creative Fabrica. If I did not purchase the commercial license, I cannot just take this and sell it as it is. I need to change it. Now, the thing when you download these from Creative Fabrica, <clears throat> a lot of the times the designer does not allow you to edit this. So see, I'm clicking on it. I can't edit. I can't do anything in here. However, there's a trick. I'm going to show it to you right now. So again, here is the graphic I've downloaded directly from Creative Fabrica. I want to make this my own. So what you're going to do is you're going to head over. You're going to click on the the actual graphic here. So I clicked on it and up at the top left, you're going to see it says edit photo, click on edit photo. Again, you need the pro plan for this magic eraser, <laughs> hit magic eraser. Now I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a circle. Yeah. There you can see it on the side, this brush size, you can make the circle larger or smaller depending on what you're erasing. I'm going to erase Hocus Pocus. I want to put something else there. So let me make this a little bit bigger for you. So here, I'm going to take my little eraser and I'm going to erase Hocus Pocus. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and I'm going to highlight Hocus Pocus. 
I'm gonna make sure I get all the edges, making sure I don't take any, whoops, <laughs> take anything else I didn't want, which I just took a little bit of the star there. So this takes a minute to kind of process through. So you can see Hocus, half of Hocus Pocus is gone. Finish this. There we go. And this just takes a minute to cycle through. Now Hocus Pocus is gone. So now I'm going to arrow back and say, now I wanted to add something here instead. So let's go get some text. I'm going to add a little title. I don't know. Um, let's put uh, coffee time. Coffee. I can spell. Coffee. Time. Make this a little bit bigger. Move this over. Here we go. And here you go. I made this my own. Then from here, I can share, I can download it. Now, I only change one element. I would maybe change a few more things. So maybe I'd go back and erase this. Maybe I'd erase, you know, the broom, add a couple of my own elements, and then I can use this and sell it as my own because it's a unique design. So again, I mean, I just figured this out recently. Again, go to edit video and then click magic eraser and you can go it now see this is good i went back what i added is my own so i can't erase it it's already done however if i again want to go and say i wanted to get rid of this i'll just do this one more time this is fun <laughs> and i'm gonna erase i need coffee to focus and then i'm left with just the coffees which is so cool and boom there you go go back to my photo now you can see i missed a couple of little spots again you would just go back and clean that up i'll just go back and clean that up right there and then i missed a little spot right here and i'm just waiting for it to cycle anyway you get the point i hope this was helpful um I am doing more um, Canva and graphic design. Um, I have an Etsy store now. I'm posting t-shirts and sweatshirts, stickers, digital downloads. Um, so I've kind of moved away from the knitting and crocheting. I'm still doing that. However, I'm getting into more of this. So I wanted to show it to you. I hope this was helpful.